Good morning everyone, this is Brandon, and this is the Dale Mod, and this is Grim Dawn, so let's get this party started, shall we, with the Big Bang. Where's my Big Bang? Haha, -ha, there we go. I didn't even get to see it, honestly, but there it is, the big one. <coughs> Excuse me, there it is, the big one. So, how'd you enjoy that one? <laughs> I didn't level up. But, I did take off a point in here, and I took off Thermite Mine, so I had the two points that I needed to get it. I think it's going to be super, super useful. I don't know how often the, um, the, uh, big one can be used, but it ha doesn't seem to have a cooldown. Maybe it only has one usage, that's what I'm going to think anyway. Since it is the big one, I'm not sure though. I think it used to say that it has a cooldown or something, but I'm not sure. Um, I forgot to activate my buffs. No. Okay. Let's put it up here. Oh man, I accidentally activated that, but you know what? There were a lot of them, so it's all good. Forgot I had that, um, put on my stun jacks. Oh well. It's still a decent use. I wanted to use the big one there, that probably would have done pretty much the same thing. Yeah, that's the big one, that ginormous, ginormous mortar. Alright, um, yeah, that's a lot of them. I'm probably going to use Meteor Shower there, or hope for the big one to come out. Three, four, maybe every four shots it comes out? Or... Not sure, actually, how that exactly works. You can definitely tell when it comes out, because it's huge. Yeah, like that. Holy hell. I like mortars, they really do help with clearing out the area. At least that's in my opinion, anyway. Get some health back there. I think I'm going to get Titan Quest, honestly. The Anniversary Edition. It sounds uh, pretty cool, and it looks pretty cool. And I, I've seen the reviews, I've seen some gameplay. It looks just like this, only it's a little bit dated, of course, but... What are you going to do? It's an old game. But they fixed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bugs. Like, so many bug fixes over the 10 years that the game's been out. It's crazy. Like, it's not even just a few bug fixes and releasing it. No, they fixed hundreds of bugs. Like, I actually took the time to read the entire, entire list, okay? The entire changelog of 10 years, yes. I read it myself. You want to know why I read the entire damn thing? Because I want to see just how much they actually changed. When I saw that list, and saw the scroll bar and how small it was, I was like, damn, they must have changed so much. And I read it, and I'm just like, oh my god, they changed everything. They changed the mechanics of how they, it works, they changed everything. The bug fixes, just everything. They literally changed every little last detail, down to the letter, man. That's just insane. I bet there are still quite a few bugs, but 10 years worth of bug fixes right there. I can assure you they fixed that many. That's just real dedication, okay? It's not just a simple, okay, let me just, like, make it compatible for, um, for newer computer type thing, okay? A newer computers type thing, okay? It's not like that. It's more like, let me release it for free if you already own Titan Quest or the Immortal Throne, which I didn't, sadly, so I can't get it for free, but I can get it for $3 because I have some money in my account. But, it's amazing. 
how much they fixed, and they gave it for free, for God's sakes, for, if you already owned it. And it's gonna be $20 in six days from now, but I'm gonna get it before then. I think it's worth it, honestly, and I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. Maybe not as fun as Grim Dawn, but I don't know. I haven't played it yet. You know how I said in Grim Dawn I didn't like the Titan Quest Masteries? Well, then they of course had to release Titan Quest Anniversary Edition. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try and enjoy it, you know? I think I'm gonna get it today, and I'll do some footage of it. What do you guys think? I think it's an amazing thing. I think I will enjoy it. Since it's basically like an older version of Grim Dawn. Some people say it's even better than Grim Dawn. It went from, like, I read 100 reviews yesterday to, like, over 300 and something reviews overnight. That's just crazy, guys. Absolutely insane. It's so nice, all the support that it's gotten, and I read some negative reviews about it, and I, 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 I'm just gonna completely ignore them. You wanna know why? Because those negative reviews are stupid. It, wanna know what some of them are? My mouse doesn't work. That's one negative review. I'm not even kidding you. That's all it says. What the hell? He even misspelled mouse. And there's another negative review. Oh, it's not compatible. Oh, the multiplayer doesn't work. Work. Oh, the game's shitty. And he you don't want to know how much time he has to say that the game is shitty? He has half an hour, not even. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? You didn't even play through the first difficulty, because I, I heard that there's multiple difficulties like this game. And you didn't even play through the first difficulty, and you're complaining that it's a shit game that you can only left-click to win. Okay, Grim Dawn has some of those same issues, yes, you can left-click to win, but there's plenty of variety, like I'm doing right now with this build. Don't call a game shit until you've actually played it. Like, I hate when people do that, I really do. And yes, I haven't used stun jacks yet for my meteor shower, I'm actually starting to, like, get used to it. That it's there. Anyway, enough about me complaining, sorry about that. I just get very annoyed when people put negative reviews for no reason whatsoever, like, my mouse doesn't work. Maybe it's a mouse issue, not just, like, anything else. Like, it's not the game I'm saying, it's probably just you and your mouse. What kind of dumb review is that? I, I hate complaining about things like, like that, but... It's, I think it's warranted that I'm complaining about that, because seriously, what kind of dumbass would write a review like that? And I don't like insulting people and their intelligence, because of my own intelligence and everything is probably not too high, but it doesn't matter. All I'm saying is that those negative reviews are bullshit, and I'm not going to believe any of them, so it's 100% positive in my opinion, even with the negative reviews. So anyway, I'm gonna get it today. I'm gonna have some fun with it. I'm gonna do some recording, maybe even a live stream. Maybe a live stream after I'm done playing the whole game in its entirety. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, that one didn't work too well, did it? I don't even know if it hit anything. I think it did. I'm not sure. What I did forget to tell you was that I put a Devil Touch demo on here. Sorry about that, but I think it was kind of apparent when I was starting to breathe Demon Breath fire here. Sorry, but I didn't tell you. If I didn't tell you, I'm not sure. I don't think I told you. Okay, um, yeah, let's begin. Let's go on to Homestead. Might even kill the amalgamation this time, but I don't think so. I just want to go to Homestead for now. Then we'll go kill the amalgamation, then go to Darkvale and kill Karaz. All in one episode, um, of course, to kill Karaz, going to Darkvale, blah blah blah. You know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but you can probably figure it out, right guys? Boom, big one. Thank God. Get those guys out of here. Big one does so much damage, it really does, it's pretty awesome. Boom, I saw that big one right there. That is a big mortar, by the way, <laughs> holy hell. 
Wow, how did that grenade miss when it exploded basically in his face? I am not sure about that. Probably should have taken a food ration or something to regenerate the rest of my energy, but it's all good. I'm fine. I'll definitely use a meteor shower down there, though, because there is a lot of them. Maybe even over here, yeah. Let's gather them all up and then use it. Like this. Alright, that went pretty well. Nice one. Yeah, that went pretty well. Okay, we're gonna put, definitely put... So this affects Stun Jacks, which don't do much damage. Granado, which does do a bunch of damage. So it'll really only affect Granado. Honestly. But I think it's worth it, because... Also that chance of um, it refreshing itself. 15, 26, 37, wow. That's pretty cool. Let's see the damage increase. 1,269... 1,269... Okay. I think I want to get the base attack of this up a bit, because it's not doing much right now. Hmm, that doesn't increase it too much. This also splits it into fragments, which might be useful. Let's put two points into this and... Hmm. One point into this, guys, I guess? Yeah, let's put one point into this. Increase our damage by a little bit. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, as, as you can see, it splits too, which is cool. It does a little bit of extra damage. Not much, but a little bit. Probably max this out. This is going to be a pure demolitionist build for now. I might do Commando, because Commando uh, with a soldier, here that's what Commando is, I think would be extremely useful to help me survive a lot better. This is going to be hell. I'm going to use Stun Jacks here. I know there's not too many, but it's gonna be ridiculous, I think. Of course, then the other perfect opportunity presents itself just now, but whatever. Yeah, start raining down upon them. Let's see, I put two points into there and one point into there, right? Yeah, its basic attack is doing quite a bit of damage. Did it even use the big one there? I'm not sure. I don't think it did, but it might have. Um, this way. Always keep that um, mortar up, I've learned, because it's pretty useful for taking out a bunch of enemies. Yeah, it's definitely doing a bunch more damage now, so that's a good thing. So it's affected by player damage bonuses. What those damage bonuses are, I'm not sure. Probably like fire and physical and that kind of thing. Again, not sure. That was definitely the big one there. It's nice to have um, another little extra helper here. Okay, um, yeah, let's go this way. Except another mortar, of course. Is that the big one? That's what it seems like. I'm not sure, though. I'm sure I know I shouldn't be paying attention solely to if it's a big one or not, but I like to pay attention to dumb things for whatever reason. Well, when I see a big explosion like that, then yeah, that is definitely the big one. Let's do a stun here. Nice big one there, very nice.
definitely do a stun jack here. Oh, it didn't summon the meteors this time? Or maybe I just didn't use it? I don't know. Well, whatever. There we go. Awesome. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this little video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. As always, have a great day, have a great night, and my friend's channel is in the description down below of all of my videos, including this one. I'll see you guys then. Have a great day, have a great night, and thank you for all the support. Stay awesome, guys. I'm just going to grab Olgrim here, and then we'll end it. Normally I grab him off camera, but I'll grab him, don't worry. Of course we have to grab all that because, well, more experience and never hurt anyone. Yeah, first talk to you, then talk to you, and then we run back. Oopsie, I forgot. My own portal, duh. Alright guys, you have a great day, or not a great night. Whatever time zone you're in, whatever time you're watching this, of course. I'll see you then. Bye guys.